Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a snowy track here in the set of Corsa to do some rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive drifting. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll let you find the description box below. I realized I was in gear. <laughs> Let's get to it. So I decided to come on and do some snow drifting. I will leave the link for the track down in the description box below. We're here in the Night Runners S14 first, and then we'll go into an all-wheel drive car and see what the difference is. Uh, definitely, all-wheel drive drifting is not my forte, so probably will be better rear-wheel drive. But we are on snow on street tires, so we're gonna see how this reacts. Oh yeah, definitely slippery. Probably should not be able to be in fourth gear with this, but. Oh, you can see the snow building up on the front tire. Oh yeah, that's slippery. We got this though. Trying to... Oh, I thought we were gonna try and wall run that snow berm. See if we can't work our way out there. Oh, get a little bit loose in the front. <laughs> Man, this would be some super slow tandems. Oh yeah. I think I need to uh, see if there's any online sessions with this uh, this track or make myself an online session because you can just run some nice deep lines on these snow banks. I don't even really need a handbrake on that. Just use the weight of the car. Oh, I probably should have stayed in third. Of course, it's a little boggy. Probably could have adjusted the ratio, but... Close to that snow berm. Nice little run on that. It's so weird because the front is so light. Oh, almost over rotated. The front is so light in the snow. Are there other parts of this track? It looks like there might be. No. Nope. No. Nope. Alright. We gotta do a snowman tap at some point today. So definitely, uh, rear wheel drive is very slow and uh, surprisingly very controllable with this car. I'm not sure what the actual uh, grip level is on this track, but we're digging into that snow berm. Good thing we don't have a rear bumper because otherwise it would have already been gone. So I'm not sure what the grip level is on this track, but I'll leave the link down in the description box below for the track. Yep, there's definitely some loss of grip there in the front. We're gonna pull out some, uh, some Subaru to see if we can't do some all-wheel drive slides. Probably not gonna involve, which is gonna be involving a lot more in-out steering discipline. But I'm actually very surprised with how how well we're oh running this uh, S14. Got this ripping red line. Fourth gear's a little too low, but we're getting there now. Oh, snowman tap. Yeet. Oh, oh, jeez. Nope. I uh, changed to an all-wheel drive car and see what the difference is. Decided to go full-on wagon for the all-wheel drive choice. This Subaru Wagon WRX. And we're gonna see what we can do all-wheel drive based. Oh boy, I can already tell this is gonna be a little bit interesting. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of turning into the drifts. So we're gonna go full set. You can let me know down in the comments which you prefer. Obviously, it's probably gonna be the real. Oh yeah. Oh man, go. Definitely not as smooth.
<laughs> on a zero steer. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, not doing as bad as I thought. We are kind of bouncing red line. No. Oh, oh. pick up the back. Play of power to save itself there. So I'm not sure really what the grip level is, but this has no grip. If you can tell, we're doing a lot of back and forth with the wheel. But that is all wheel drive. This is like every Subaru owner's fantasy when the uh, first snowfall hits. I'm not one of those. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have pulled a handbrake on that. It probably should have just gone in the third. Yeah, it's a lot of turn in with all-wheel drive. Yep. This thing does not really want to get sideways. I mean, I guess it's a testament to uh, Subaru performance. No, no, nope. oh, geez. Oh my gosh. So I'm definitely obviously better drifting in uh, rear wheel drive than I am all wheel drive. Because do you really consider this drifting or just power sliding? But I think we're kind of getting the hang of it now. Kind of just turn into it. Use the brakes a little bit. Oh, we're going to slide into the berm. So let me know down in the comments which one you obviously prefer. Probably going to be the real drive, but going all wheel drive slides. Kind of fun. Maybe we should pull out a rally car that might have snow tires and see. How that car does. Oh! I think I might have a really cool snow tire. Let's check. Oh! High crowd. So this car just has rally tires. Oh, it's so sliding. Oh no! Yep, sliding. This car has rally tires, but. I don't know how it's going to help us. Other than making it really grippy. It's actually making it just grippier. No! Off the wall. Just really turn in. Slide. I mean that that was kind of that was kind of cool. Nope. I mean we're somewhat getting it. No, we're not. No, snowberm, pick it up. <laughs> so what do you guys do here on set of course a little snow fun, having a little fun on the new snow track. Like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. You can get this track on Boston. Oh, make sure you guys follow me on all the social media. I'll just find the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, I think we got it. Nope. Yep. Yeah, we got that one. Our transition. Nope. Off track. <laughs>